Hello, and welcome back to The Sim. In this one, we're doing a quick one, jumping into spad.next and going through how to use one stream deck to change buttons on another stream deck. Or you can even link them so that one button is changing multiple stream decks at the same time. Let's go ahead, jump in and get started. So here we are in spad.next. And of course I have two stream decks hooked up. We've got a plus and a stream deck XL. The Stream Deck Plus has fewer buttons, and here we did build an example that does have menus that you can switch to from the start. So we can go to the autopilot menu, and then we can use the swipe functionality to get back home. However, if you've got multiple Stream Decks, maybe you want to control the menus functionality and what menu this is switching uh, from, say, a Stream Deck XL. So first thing we're gonna do is show how to easily build one of these types of buttons. So here, I'm just gonna copy the button gauge. Reason for copying the button gauge is I just want uh, the text as well as the image that I made for the menu. And then we'll deal with the device switch afterwards. So highlight that, Control C, go to a button, press Control V. So there's the button that we're gonna to use to control the other stream deck. So now we want to add an event and we're gonna go with a uh, button pressed short. Uh, you could also go with button released. Sometimes I find menus button release works better. That way when you let go, it triggers, but we'll go ahead with button press uh, short. So we're gonna go, we're gonna add an action and you're gonna come down here to the advanced sub tab. So under the advanced sub tab, you're going to find all of these things like virtual power, device next page gauge, device previous page gauge, and also switch to a specific page or gauge. Uh, so this can be used with FIPS, this can be used with Stream Decks and any devices that have the concept of paging. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add that event and it brings up the dialog to select the command. So here, is where you have the target device. When you click on it, you'll see that other page-based devices will now show up. So we go, we click on Stream Deck Plus, and now we're gonna tell the Stream Deck Plus we want it to change to the autopilot page. So we click OK, and we have now made that button. Now so that we can see it switching to a couple of different pages, uh, let's grab, for example, our audio page and we'll do the exact same thing. We'll copy that, we'll paste it there, and then just for fun, we'll copy this event. We'll paste that event here, double click on it so that we can edit it and change this to the audio page that we made. So now that we're done, we'll just hop over here to look at the plus, and as I press those two buttons, you'll see now we can go to the autopilot page or we can make it go to the audio page. And in the same way that we can control these separately, we could have interlinked them. So instead of doing this, and I'm gonna go Control Shift C to copy everything, and we're gonna go ahead and basically replace this, which is like deleting the entire button. So now instead what we'll do is we'll go to this autopilot page and we'll say that from here, and we can just Control C, Control V to copy and paste that event. And on that same short press, now we're gonna say, well, I also want the Stream Deck Plus to go to its autopilot page. And then for audio, same thing, Control C, Control V. And now we're going to say that on that same press, we're gonna change this to the Stream Deck plus and set it to its audio. So that's the way of doing it really quick, copy paste and on that button press both will go. Or what we probably should have done, which is a little bit cleaner, is we're going to add the action here. So again, go to advanced, we want specific page, we're gonna go the plus and we're gonna go with the audio. And now those two events are tied to the one event trigger as opposed to two button presses. Both ways are gonna work as we will see right here. So now when I go to our Stream Deck Plus and I press the audio, there's the autopilot and there is the audio panel. So there you have it. 
That's how you quickly assign buttons on one Stream Deck to control another Stream Deck. Hope this one's helpful. If you could, please hit that like button. And if you haven't, go ahead and hit the subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.